Hello and welcome to Tash Life. I'm Tash and today we have another instalment of my collection videos. Let's get into it. We've got the BYS palettes and we have the She Glam palettes and that will be it for the eyeshadows. And then I will have a bonus video for you with some very old school makeup that I have still in my possession and I thought it just might be interesting for some people to look at. Well, let's get into this one. So uh, we'll just start where we are I guess. Uh, we have the Unite BYS palette. I have used this one and I do quite like it. It is a little bit cool toned I feel but um, still very nice. Nice formula. BYS is an Australian brand as well. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure they're quite well known internationally. So uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you do know about this brand already. We've got the Harmony palette. Which is like this. Uh, it's nice greens and blues. Just do a little swatch. Doesn't look like I've used this one before. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, what else shall I swatch? How about that? Nice bright green, icy green, aqua colour. Nice. I have used this one before. Yeah. There you go. The we'll do the Safari palette, which is um, pretty neutral. Uh, all these sort of um, sort of metallic-y colours, aren't they? A nice olivey gold. Yeah, I like that. Like that one yeah pretty neutral pretty neutral uh, Malibu it's like this fairly colorful uh, sort of like a sunset really and I do enjoy that one although it looks like I've only used it once but <laughs> We've got the Fierce palette here, which is unused. I have not yet had a chance to use this one. It's like neons with some neutrals. Uh, we've got the Peach, Peach One palette. This is one of their older ones, I think. I feel. Oh, that's broken. Um, but yeah. Nice peachy. Um, are these jupes? Were these jupes? Some of these jupes for the naked palettes. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, prismatic. These are really, really nice. Um, I don't know if they're all creams. They, they feel like creams. Very much like creams. They're all sort of like little toppery shades. Nice. And the crystal palette. Some of these are creams as well. It's purple's powder. That's nice. What's this look like? Sort of a cream. Nice gold. 
Hello we go. Fame. Uh, I think this was a dupe for ABH Norvina, I think. Does that look like? I don't have Norvina, so you know. Blue, grey blue. That's powdery. Uh, we've got the Malibu Barbie XBYS. Oh, unused. I haven't used that one yet. Nice. I don't have all their palettes. Um, there are a few I don't have. Sunkiss, which oh, it's unused as well. It's a bit of a sunset palette. Let's see if I can. There we go. Trying to get the reflection from it. Very nice. Flora. This was one that came out about a year ago. Was it a year ago? Six months ago, maybe. Um, it's not one of their old, old palettes. It's one of their more newer ones. It did only come out last year. Quite nice. Some nice looks out of that. Uh, Unicorn. Which is very soft. Um, very soft. Palette. Sort of icy, more of an icy formula. But you know, you've got these neutrals as well, so you can do neutral looks with it. Um, you know, you've got this nice sort of goldy brown colour. Uh, and this, that's a shimmer as well. So you can do neutral looks with it. But it has a nice a few icy shades in there as well. Hot House. Which is like this. I do like this one. I think I've used it a few times. Mmm, look at that colour. And that one, yeah. I do like this one. I like it a lot. So, we've got Bloom. Which also has some of these cream sh shadows in them. Same as her normal powder shimmers. But it's a nice soft, it's another soft one. Sort of soft pinky purpley one. Um, but they, there's this is a shimmer, the brown's a shimmer, and you've got a light shimmer. Uh, you know, you can do stuff with it. Keep the moods together. Berries. Right, so we've got peach. Peach 2 1 looks like this, so it's a bit of a different uh, format than the other peach. And these are a bit more oranger than the peach ones, I would say. A little bit more on the orange side. Feels hard to hand that one. So we've got the, the glitter one, and that is all glitters. Um, let's see, these glitters are sort of the ones that are um, like inner sort of Vaseline jelly kind of substance. It's really hard for me to get it off my 
finger. <laughs> I guess if you use a glitter glue, it'll come off. And I have used it a few times for the girls and that. See that one? That one's better. It's coming off nicer. And then we have the foiled, foiled one, which is all shimmer. This looks like a duochrome. Oh, it feels like a cream too. Yeah, it's like the cream sort of formula, creamy. Oh, so nice. God, look at that black. Well, uh, we have the berries, which I think is this a dupe for modern renaissance, I think. Fairly basic, really. There's a lot of, um, an awful lot of mats in it, I would say. But it's a classic. And berries too, which is a bit more berrier than actual the berry one. It's a bit more sort of purples and berry shades in there. Then we have the nudes. Uh, I'll start with nude two, which I think is a dupe for um, I put it back. Is it a dupe for the naked two? Please hold, I'll go get it. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, they're pretty close, aren't they? These two are a bit different. Yeah. Those two are different. That one's much more, um, sort of coppery. This one's more gold. But apart from that, the rest of them look pretty close, don't they? That's the Nude 2 with the fancy packaging. Uh, this is the Nude 3 with the fancy packaging, um, unused. Is this a dupe for the Naked 3? I couldn't tell you. And then we've got Nude 4, which is the one I've used quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of mattes in here. There's only two shimmers, and they're quite neutral. But you can do peach looks. You can do sort of berry looks. You can do brown looks. If you've got a deep shade, you've got a light shade, a couple of light shades. You've got two different color shimmers. So there's quite a bit you can do with it, even though it's pretty basic so yeah that's it for the BYS now I will bring over the She Glam okay um, so uh, I have taken them out of their packets to make things a bit quicker and easier so we'll start here we've got the In Bloom palette uh, which uh, looks like this. I wasn't entirely impressed with this palette. It is very soft, very soft indeed. Uh, let's see if I can swatch a couple for you. You do really have to build it up. But, I mean, maybe it was supposed to be soft. So... Um, you know, maybe that's the intention of the palette, but yeah, uh, it is quite soft. 
I mean, some of them aren't too bad, but that one there is very soft. I guess maybe it's like a topper shade. Okay. And in that same range, they had the Obsessed, uh, yeah, Obsessed Marrakesh. Whereas this one was uh, Kyoto in bloom. This one's Marrakesh Obsessed. And it looks like this. I did like this one better. It was still a little bit hard to build up. But it was definitely better than the purple one. Um, and I did have my eye on the orange one actually, but you know, it's not like I need it. <laughs> Shall I swatch a, a matte as well? The mats aren't too bad. The She Glam palettes can be a little bit hit and miss. So, there's that. Right, so we have the She Glam Eye Candy, which is a monochromatic, monochromatic pink one, pretty much. Uh, we'll do a little swatch. Some of the shades... Um, in some of these palettes are a bit like Super Shock. They've got that, see like this one, see if I push on it, it sort of is a bit puttyish. So it's kind of a topper. Um, there's that one. I want to use that one once, I think. Uh, Rainbow Revolution palette. Um, have I used this? No, I haven't used it. Uh, nope. Not yet. It's only got three shimmers in it. But, well, you know, they're well pigmented. I'll try a matte. Let's try a matte. So they're not too bad either. So should be a good palette. I've already used that one. Uh, she Glam Rhapsody palette. I do like this one. I've used it a few times, as you can tell by the dips. Some of these are like topper shades, but they all even though they look similar, they have like different shifts to them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they're all different tones and different shifts. But I do like that one. And because it's got the, the little neutrals in there as well, you could... You know, kind of have it as a standalone palette. Uh, Rose Code. I've only used this one once, I think, but I really liked it. I liked it a lot. It's surprised me. I thought it was just going to be kind of like a neutral palette, but it was actually really nice. The tie dye to tie dye for palette. Have I used this one? No, I have not used this one. It's kind of like pastels. Uh, very icy looking pastels, actually. Try a matte. Not too bad. Okay. Use two small of these ones. Lots to lava palette. I like this one. Used it a few times. 
it is sort of a dark and moody palette even though it doesn't look it but your shimmers are quite dark except for maybe this one which I think is that sort of super shock formula so that one's really nice um, I really enjoy that uh, Beach Sunset, another one I really enjoy. Of course, you've got berry tones, so what's not to love, right? And some of these are shifty too. Bring it on, which is a nice green palette. Mm. Lovely. We have the Pitch Pretty palette, which have I used this? I'm not sure if I've used this one actually. So let's do some swatches. Do a matte. Nice. And the Cactus Cool palette, which is quite cool toned. Uh, have I used this one? I think I have used this one. That's pretty. Nice. What's this look like? It's just silver, I think. Sort of a charcoal. Nice. Movalicious palette. Which is another sort of cooler toned one. Shifts too. Right, so then we've got these two that came out last year. So we have this Hogwarts one that does um, spin like that. And it opens up like this. And you've got four little quads in there. So we have the Slytherin. There you go. Which is beautiful. The Hufflepuff. It's only got one shimmer in it. Much more sort of neutral color story, softer. Raven, Raven Claw, which is the blue. And the 
Gryffindor. She also only has one shimmer. So it's also really, it is a bit more neutral as well. Because the, the shimmers are a lot softer, more sort of topper kind of shades. Matte there. And last but not least, we have the Alien Cosmic Come Up palette. Alien Mood palette, that's what it's called. And it comes. If I can get it out like this and it actually swings open like this um, yeah let's do some swatches of this one Very nice. So that's that one. <laughs> Shopping trolley. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Oh, I do have that bonus video coming up. So look out for that one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.